Hi, it's Katrina! From an epic dinosaur battle lost in time to an ancient warrior, here are 10 recent archaeological discoveries steeped in mystery. Number 10. Dueling Dinosaurs Fossil hunters in 2006 hit the bony jackpot in Montana when they unearthed the bones of two enormous dinosaurs locked together in battle frozen in time. The Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops were completely entangled in a 67 million year old fossil. The big mystery here was that paleontologists had no idea how both dinosaurs ended up buried together when they had apparently been fighting. Scientists from all over the world wanted the chance to examine the fossils, but they were locked away out of reach. After 14 years in court battles, auctions, and in negotiations, finally the giant fossil of the dueling dinos has been transported to the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences. According to a recent report from Smithsonian Magazine, paleontologists are now working tirelessly to uncover the mystery of this ancient battle of the titans. The dueling dinosaurs is one of the most remarkable fossil discoveries ever made. Scott Sampson, a paleontologist and the president of Science World, a nonprofit education and research facility in Vancouver, told Smithsonian. That's because it not only captures two of the most famous dinosaurs in the world, but it actually shows ancient behavior stuck in a rock. People have been digging for dinosaurs for years, but no one has found anything like this. The two dinosaurs are extremely well preserved, with the bones still partially encased in rock, allowing scientists to study impressions left behind by their skin. In the meantime, they are also trying to figure out how these two enormous creatures both met their untimely end together. Number 9. The Mushroom Sword A man was hunting for mushrooms in a rural forest in the Czech Republic and stumbled upon something quite strange. Instead of finding the delicious mushrooms he was searching for, he stumbled across an ancient sword and a bronze axe. The mushroom hunter first spotted a piece of metal jutting out from the ground. After a bit of kicking, it turned out to be a sword, and then he got on his hands and knees and began to dig, quickly discovering a bronze axe as well. The man reported his findings to local archaeologists, who then planned a formal excavation. Turns out that they weren't left behind by some random hunters, but by a warrior over 3,000 years ago. What's really mysterious about this discovery is that the ancient sword is intricately decorated with engraved circles and other strange markings. Another baffling thing is that the location of the weapons is nowhere near any known prehistoric settlement. What exactly they were doing there is anybody's guess. All that researchers know right now is that the artifacts originated in the Bronze Age, and they could have come from what is now Sweden. The bronze axe was not as extraordinary, and it could have come from local production, but the sword was way too intricate to have been made anywhere near where it was found. This suggests that it could have been a wayward warrior moving through the forest when disaster struck. The researchers have yet to find any bones in the area, but investigations are still ongoing. Have you ever found something you weren't exactly looking for? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! We'd love to have you! Number 8. Ancient Carved Stones Just recently, archaeologists have uncovered nine mysterious stone objects scattered around an equally mysterious hearth on the mainland of Orkney, part of an island archipelago off the coast of Scotland. It's an area with very few people and an ancient history. They figure that the stones date back to at least 4,000 years ago, but what makes them so enigmatic is that they resemble human figures. The carved stones have large bodies, very distinct necks, and they even have heads. Each one stands about 1.6 feet tall, and they were discovered near a sort of ancient burial structure. The figures were almost missed, as they were found at a location that had been designated for an electrical substation, a completely accidental discovery. It's unclear what the purpose of the building and the stones were. In fact, everything about this discovery is currently unclear. The figures could have been used as standing stones in ancient rituals, but nobody really knows. They also could have just been pillars used to hold up the roof of an ancient building. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below! Number 7. Missing Heads In a Roman cemetery, yet another mysterious cache of skeletons has been found. The Roman cemetery is located in England, close to Suffolk, and has archaeologists scratching their heads. The reason for this is because roughly 40% of the people buried in the graveyard were found missing their heads. Out of the 52 skeletons discovered, 17 had been decapitated, but their heads weren't thrown into a pit or something. Instead, they had been placed to rest between the legs of their owner. 
Nobody has any idea why the decapitations occurred or why on earth the heads were placed between the legs. It wasn't done savagely, as all the graves were discovered in pretty good condition and very well organized. According to one of the archaeologists working on the project, it could have been a very important funeral rite associated with a special group within the local population. This means it could have been a unique type of burial by a possibly unknown group of people who had existed during the time that Rome ruled England. To make this puzzle even stranger, the bodies had not been decapitated in the traditional executioner fashion. Rather than being lopped off at the neck, they were expertly severed just below the skull and placed meticulously between the feet. Also, the 17 headless bodies were the only bodies buried lying on their backs in the standard position. The others were buried face down in a crouched position which could suggest deviant burials. And to top it all off, four of the decapitated skulls were placed with skeletons that they didn't physically belong to. It's not clear what went down here, but it is pretty unsettling. Number 6. Priest Mummies In Egypt, the Ministry of Antiquities has announced that archaeologists have unearthed 30 perfectly preserved coffins with mummies inside. While you might think that mummies are found all the time in Egypt, the sheer quantity and their incredible well-preserved state makes them amazingly special. Discovered at an ancient necropolis near Luxor, the coffins and mummies date back about 3,000 years. The coffins still have much of their color, with Egyptian deities and hieroglyphics still discernible on the old wood. According to the Egyptian Minister of Antiquities, the mummies consisted of 23 adult males, 5 adult females, and 2 children. They were arranged in two layers, with 12 on the bottom and 18 on top. Archaeologists are working on deciphering the hieroglyphic writing and analyzing the coffins and mummies to try to find out who these people were and why they were all buried together. The best guess at this time suggests that they were priests buried with their families. Number 5. The Oldest Human Skull A new study is blowing everything historians believed out of the water. In the 1970s, there were two fossilized skulls discovered in southern Greece. At the time, researchers were pretty confused by the remains. They were mostly incomplete and found without any kind of context. This means that they weren't found with any stone tools or other clues that could say who they were or what they were doing there. Researchers assumed that they were Neanderthals and the case was closed. But now, a bombshell study has been published in the journal Nature that claims one of the skulls found in the 1970s belonged to an early modern Homo sapien that lived 210,000 years ago. People in the scientific community have lost their minds over this unbelievable study because if the conclusions of the study are correct, the skull would be the oldest human fossil in Europe by over 160,000 years. Both skulls are being held at the University of Athens Museum of Anthropology. They have been sitting there for 40 years, but it wasn't until recently that a team of researchers was able to use the newest technology to re-examine them. CT scans and 3D reconstructions were done to get a better look at the skulls. Apparently, one of the fossils lacks a distinctive bulge at the rear of the skull that is a known characteristic of Neanderthals. This has led the research team to believe humans inhabited Europe over 200,000 years ago. While that may seem shocking, it could actually just be that a small group of Homo sapiens left Africa and then died out before being able to set up a permanent culture in Europe. Number 4. Baffling Stone Carvings Jerusalem has countless mysterious discoveries, but now included among them are some strange carvings that have been uncovered in an excavation beneath the city, and archaeologists don't know what they are. Diggers from Israel have found a complex of rooms carved into the bedrock of one of the oldest sections of the city. Within the complex of rooms, they discovered several V-shapes cut into the limestone floor about two inches deep next to each other. Other than these strange carvings, there were no other clues. Nobody knows who made the carvings or what they were made for. While at first it may seem like an accident, typically people don't carve extremely deep symbols into the floor without a reason. It's estimated that the carvings are at least 3,000 years old. One of the directors of the dig, Eli Shukran, said the markings are very strange and very intriguing. I've never seen anything like them. We know so little that we have been unable even to posit a theory about their nature. What do you think these symbols mean? Let me know in the comments below. Number 3. New Evidence of Pontius Pilate 
If you're familiar with Pontius Pilate, you will know that in the New Testament, he was the man who presided over the trial of Jesus under the Emperor Tiberius. He was the Roman governor of Judea between 37 and 26 BC. It is believed that he was reluctant to sentence Jesus to death, and several branches of the church believe that he became a Christian himself. A recent study of coins found beneath Pilgrimage Road, which used to lead from the Siloam Pool to the Temple Mount, show that it was built under the rule of Pilate. Archaeologist Donald Ariel is a coin expert who works with the Israel Antiquities Authority, and he says that based on archaeological evidence, the man who sentenced Jesus to death may have gone out of his way to create a comfortable road for Jewish pilgrims. The life and times of Pilate are still quite controversial, but as with everything, nothing is ever black and white. Number 2. Mysterious Ancient Warrior In 2019, archaeologists made one of the most significant finds in the United Kingdom an ancient Celtic warrior buried in a chariot with weapons and ponies. Dating back 2,000 years, included in the burial was a shield, which Dr. Melanie Giles of the University of Manchester calls the most important British Celtic art object of the millennium. The design feature is completely unique and not similar to any other Iron Age finds across Europe. This crucial discovery was found in East Yorkshire, and it's the only burial ever in the UK where archaeologists have discovered horses entombed in a chariot grave. The man was positioned in the chariot behind the horses, which were placed to look like they were leaping out of the grave. This burial demonstrates the importance of chariots to people of the Iron Age, but the magnitude and well-preserved state of this find makes it incomparable. The mysterious man is an enigma. He died somewhere between 320 BC and 174 BC, but nobody knows who he was, what family he belonged to, or just who exactly left him buried in such a grandiose way. Number 1. Humans in the Americas New finds from Mexico have uncovered evidence that people were living in the Americas 33,000 years ago. The results are based on archaeological discoveries recently found at Chiquihuite Cave in central Mexico. Researchers discovered roughly 2,000 stone tools, which suggests the cave had been used by people for at least a span of 20,000 years. The reason this is such an incredible discovery is because we have long believed that nobody lived in North America until the ending of the last ice age, roughly 11,000 years ago. Our ancestors would have crossed the land bridge between Siberia and Alaska, then wandered south and slowly populated the Americas. This new evidence would place people on the continent 20,000 years earlier, at least. The results of the extensive study have been published in the journal Nature and reported by the BBC. But even with all the reporting and all the investigating going on, there is still no consensus on how people were living in central Mexico that long ago. It's one of the most important discoveries of recent times, and it happened in 2020. Thanks for watching! Which of these incredible discoveries did you find the most fascinating? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye!